Hey awesome friends, I am Awesome Danny and this big box right here is not IEMs. I guess they could be, but how? These are the Meze Audio 109 Pro headphones. So I am part of a tour here in the US and Meze decided they'll let me borrow the 109 Pros. This is not going to be a full review because I don't have a lot of headphones to compare this to. I have like a couple. So I'm just going to tell you about my experience with them and maybe compare it to some IMs, but we'll see. We're going to keep this pretty casual. So these are quite expensive. 800 bucks, I believe. Probably way more than I would ever spend on a pair of headphones. But man, the craftsmanship on these is amazing. They feel so well built but they are also the most comfortable thing I have put on my head. There is no headphone more comfortable than this one. There is no hat or beanie or sombrero, anything. Nothing compares to this. These things are just very light, the way that they're designed to distribute all of the weight is actually really nice. I really like their little suspension system that they have and it kind of auto adjusts to your head size and overall very breathable. These are open back, but the pads are just very soft and breathable. They come with a really nice carrying case, a hard case, semi hard ish on the harder side, not completely rigid. And there is two cables uh, cables. I did not really care for. They feel a little grippy. Remind me a bit of the HD 600 cable, which I hate because it's like 30 feet long. And whoever designed that cable does not have a cat that attacks cables on site. So every time I go use the HD 600 and I'll start rolling out the cable, Sonny knows that I'm taking that out and he'll start hunting it. And out of nowhere, he'll just pounce at it. Got to be careful. All right, so let's go ahead and get into some sound impressions. Again, this is mostly just impressions and my experience with this set. Overall, I really like these headphones like quite a lot. Bass extends very well. A lot of open back headphones feel like they just start tapering off in the bass and ends up being a little bit less represented than I would like, especially compared to IMs. IMs, you just don't lose anything. So while the bass extends very well, it's actually not exaggerated. It's, you know, more tastefully done, very well controlled and you still get some rumble in that sub bass and the mid bass has decent impact. It does not come off as too rigid, but overall the bass presentation feels a little bit polite. And again, that might just be because I'm used to IEMs. These headphones just sound very organic overall. Same story in the mids, they are safe. They are effortless and natural. Vocals feel a little bit ahead of the mix, but sometimes those vocals do end up getting a little bit of sibilance in them, a little too sharp. And then you get into the treble, which is, in my opinion, the weak point of these headphones. Treble does seem to have a spike in there. And that does add to the sibilance. And it is not as smooth as the rest of the sound signature here, which was a little disappointing because overall, right before the treble, there it's really good. It's very smooth, mellow, but highly capable. And then you get to the treble and there is that one spike. So treble feels a little bit coarse and just a bit grating. But other than that, once you get past that spike, treble extends well, the shimmer isn't artificial, it's pretty natural. And for the text, I mean, these are great. Things end up being very clean and separated, even though it feels like they are softer sound outline, at least compared to IEMs. It reminds me a little bit more of like, you know, flyheads where when you get good text and detail and separation, it still sounds very organic and natural. So overall, the Meze 109 Pros, I would consider very good. It would just be a question of that treble. If you can handle that treble, they're really nice. They are very versatile, work with a lot of different genres. My usual genres are probably the weak point of these headphones. So anything that's got a lot of, you know, a lot of high energy treble, like K-pop or any type of modern music, that stuff, that treble is going to come through a little bit more harsher, but anything else, it's not as noticeable. But that's it, guys. I am Awesome Danny. If you enjoyed my content, please consider subscribing. And until next time, you stay awesome, friends. Bye.